Hello, I'm Landon Schlingen, and today we are going to finally complete our C Sharp Microsoft certification by doing the exam. All right, I'm very excited to do this exam. And we'll see how we do. Um, but first, we need to answer two short survey questions, I guess. <laughs> I haven't looked at this before, so I guess we have to take the survey. Describe my role. Um, intermediate developer prior to the course, how experienced were you? Um, I'm going to say intermediate. I don't think I'm advanced or expert, but I'm definitely not beginner. So let's submit that survey and start the ex exam. All right, given the following code snippet, what will the method multiply numbers return when called with the arguments three and four? By the way, there's 80 questions. So <laughs> I'm going to try and um, edit this so it's shorter, a shorter video, but we'll see. Okay, so num1 and num2 are 3 and 4, so you just multiply those together and you get 12. So it should be this one. Next question. I don't really like all the spacing in this. This is weird. Hopefully you guys can still read that. Which of the following options represents the correct way to declare and assign a string variable in C-sharp? I always say string, and we do double quotes. So it should be this one. Next question. What is the difference between a void method and a method with a return type? A void method does not return a value, while a method with a return type returns a specific, a specific value. The next question, how do you convert an integer variable named age to a string in C sharp? We're, we're converting a string to an, to a, wait, no, we're converting a number to a string. So we just can do to string. I'm pretty sure you do age.toString. And I don't think you have to specify the D in there. I think you can just do age.toString. All right, let's do next question. How do you add a single line comment? That would be the double slashes. What data type would you use to store a large whole number in C sharp? That would be a long. It's bigger than an int, but it's still for whole numbers. What are the three components for of a for loop in C sharp? That would be the variable, the increment, and the condition. I think. I'm pretty sure it's this one. All right, next question. How do you resume program execution after hitting a breakpoint with continue? What is the syntax to return a value from a method in C sharp? Just return value. Next question. What is the output of the following code snippet? My name is Alice and I'm 25 years old. Uh, there's no comma. So it should be this one. What a weird question. Okay. Next one. Which of the following options represents the correct way to calculate the remainder of dividing two integers? That would be x modulus y. How do you exit a for loop before its completion in C sharp? That would be with E break. Pretty sure you break. You can break in a for loop, you can break in a while loop. What is the purpose of a code block in C-sharp? To group statements together and control their scope. Which operator is, is used to uh, for assignment, the equal sign? Obviously, what is the purpose of the for statement? To execute a code block of code repeatedly. What is the purpose of debugging in software development? It's a process of identifying and resolving errors, bugs, and issues in code. How do you define a method with multiple parameters? Specify the parameters separated by commas. Should be that one. How do you specify the default case in a switch statement? Just with default. You don't need case default, it's just default. What is the main purpose of using comments in your code? To provide explanations and documentation for the code. What is the value of the Boolean expression true and false? Well, true and false would be false, but not false is true, so it should be true. How do you catch a thrown exception in a calling code in C sharp? Pretty sure you can just do use the catch exception e block. Let's move on. What is the syntax to exit us? What is the syntax to access the element at index three of an array? Um, index three, so just numbers with the square brackets three. How do you pass a value to a method parameter in C sharp? 
Uh, you just provide the value as an argument when calling the method, of course. What is the purpose of throwing an exception into C sharp? To indicate that an error has occurred. Yeah. What is the primary job of the C sharp compiler? To translate C sharp into executable code. What is the purpose of the return statement in a method to return a value? How do you find the length of an array named employees in C sharp? Employees that length. Um, is it uppercase or lowercase though? I actually think it's uppercase. I know in JavaScript it would be lowercase, but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's uppercase or lowercase. What is the difference between a compile time error and a runtime error in C sharp? It would be probably this one. A compile time error is caused by incorrect syntax. Runtime error is caused by logical errors or exceptional conditions. What is the purpose of try touch blocks to handle and manage exceptions? How do you define a code block in C sharp with curly braces? How do you catch multiple types of exceptions in a single catch block? Yeah, I'm guessing it's this one: exception type one, exception, exception type two, exception. Not exactly sure if that's right, but um, the other ones don't make much sense. How do you determine a do while loop in C sharp with the break keyword? Okay, what is the purpose of the watch window in VS Code debugging? I don't exactly know. I'm going to say it shows the values of variables, although that's probably the va variables portion. Maybe add bookmarks. Yeah, let's just do that. How do you convert a numeric value to a string with a specific number of decimal places? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, probably this one. Although these two are basically the same. What a weird question. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that, I don't know. What will be the output of the following code snippet? One, two, three, four. Because as soon as it hits five, five is not less than five, so it won't do that one. So it should be one, two, three, four. And I starts at one, so there should be no zero. How do you compare a variable named option against multiple values in a switch statement? Oh. It you just do the switch case. <laughs> um, probably this one. Next question, how do you pass arguments to a method in C-sharp? Enclose arguments in parentheses. How do you write an if statement in C-sharp? If condition with the parentheses. How can you install extensions in VS Code? Navigate to the Go menu and ex select extensions. I mean, <laughs> it's just on the side, extensions which is control shift x so you, i guess you control shift x there yeah oh yeah square icon on the left sidebar yeah it should be that one how do you increment a variable named count by two in a for loop count plus equals two how do you remove leading and trailing white space from string string dot trim what is the result of the following expression five divided by two it'd be two because it's an int what is the correct syntax to declare a variable named count of type integer in C sharp? Okay, so it'd be int count. Just this one, because we're just declaring it. How do you convert a string variable to an integer? In this case, we have to parse it. So it's either int.parse or int.tryparse. I'm gonna say parse. Next question, what are parameters in a C-sharp method? Definitions for inputs or arguments passed to a method. What is the method used to change the case of a string to uppercase in C-sharp? Oh, God. Two upper or upper? Two upper, I'm going to say. Um, how do you handle an exception in C-sharp using a catch block? Catch exception E. Move on, what is the syntax for an if else or else if statement? Else if condition. How do you align a numeric value to the right within a specified width in C sharp? 
let's say pad left. How do you format a date value to display only the month and year in C sharp? I mean, it's obviously either B or B. Let's say D because I don't know, it seems more standard. Which data type should be used to represent a monetary value with decimal places? Decimal? Yeah, because it's monetary value, so we should use decimal and not float. How do you access the value at index 2 of an array? Index 2, so numbers 2, with the uh, square brackets. What is the role of exception handling? Catch and handle exceptions to prevent program crashes. In C Sharp, how do you call a method from the main method and capture its return value? Oh, the only one that actually captures its return value is the one with the equal sign where it goes result equals method name. So I'm going to say that one because it's actually capturing its return value. But uh, B kind of makes sense because I don't know why they say main method. So I'm just going to say A though. What is a recommended data type to store a single character in C sharp? Char. What happens if the condition of a while loop is initially false? The loop is skipped entirely. How do you check if a conversation between two data types is possible or a conversion? Oh my god. Is possible in C sharp? Type of keyword? I'm gonna say type of. I think this is a pretty standard thing across like Java and, and C sharp is to use type of for this. How do you check if two variables are not equal if in an if statement in C sharp? If not equal, so you'd use the the exclamation point equal sign. Yeah. How do you convert a variable named x of type double to an integer in C sharp? We could do int x, I believe. So I'm going to do that one. All right, which of the following options represents the correct way to declare the entry point for C sharp program? Okay, so this one's hard because it didn't really show up on our VS code, but I'm pretty sure that it's like it's very similar to Java, where it's like public static void main or something. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna go with that. I, I'm not exactly sure. What is the purpose of the using directive in C sharp? It is used to provide a shorter alias for a namespace. I don't even think we went over this. How do you open the integrated terminal in VS Code? Control J. I think you can right click and just do open terminal. Let's say we go to view menu and select terminal. That's how. All right, next one. What is the purpose of the index of method in the string class? It retrieves the index of a specified character in the string. That makes sense. What is a method in C sharp? It's a sequence of code statements. Yeah. Okay. I think it's yeah. I think it's just that. What is the output of the following code snippet? Well, we do five plus three. We get eight. Yeah, eight. What is the difference between the do while and while statements? Do while is executed at least once, so it should be the first one. Which comparison operator is used to check for equality? That would be the double equal sign. Which method is used to concatenate strings in C sharp? I think that's concat. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Uh, how do you terminate a case block in a switch statement? With the break? Yeah, break. Uh, how do you sort the elements of an array in ascending order in C sharp? Array.sort. Yeah, I'm going to go array.sort because ascending order might be defaults. Which of the following C sharp code will display hello world on the console? Console.write line. Hello world. Yeah, it's console.write line. 
Next question, given the following code snippet, what is the purpose of the parameter name in the method greet user? It's used to pass a string value to the method. Yeah, okay. What is the role of the .NET class library in C-sharp? It is a collection of predefined classes, interface, and value types. What is the default value of an uninitialized variable of type string? Uninitialized would be null. So next question, what happens if you declare a return type? We know. No. It would be undefined. But I don't know why undefined is in quotes. That's weird. Because yeah, if it's uninitialized, it's undefined. Null you actually have to set. Okay. What happens if you declare a return type in a method but do not return a value in C sharp? Compiler errors thrown, I'm pretty sure. Next question. How do you specify the condition for a while loop? That would just be with the parentheses again and then the curly braces. How do you create a new C-sharp project in VS Code? .NET new, I would do that. Next one, what is the difference between the throw and throw X statements in C-sharp? I don't know, man. I'm gonna go with B just, just because. Use for check, checked exceptions and throws for unchecked. How do you define a method in C-sharp? Void method name parameters. You don't need the equal arrow. Yeah, so it would be the return type method name and then just braces. Okay. What is the purpose of conditional statements in C sharp? Control the flow of the program. All right, let's finish. And we got 85% correct. 68 out of 80. All right, I want to, yeah, and I pass exams and I can claim my certification. Okay, so let me download my results. Okay, so it doesn't tell me which ones I got wrong, which kind of sucks because I wanted to review them. But I did pass. So if you do it exactly like me, you'll pass too. <laughs> All right, so that has a check mark on it, and I can go to settings to claim my certification. Claim certification. And I successfully claimed it, and I can show it. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful foundational C sharp with Microsoft. <laughs> Let's go. That didn't take very long. All right. Well, if you enjoyed that test, give the video a like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, bye.